Hey, it's May here. I just got asked this question. What should I do to land a new role, ideally in a more senior position and in a different industry? I have 14 years of international experience and recently parted ways with my employer because they just couldn't find a job in alignment with my seniority. Well, first, I like how you're thinking. How do you improve on all fronts? And second, more and more of us are gonna experience this. And so the advice I'm about to give applies to all of us, whether we're in a job now and wanna have more options or looking for something and trying to figure out how to accelerate that process and find the thing we wanna find. So the first thing, there are three things you wanna do. First is you wanna brand yourself as a thought leader and an expert. And this means publishing, putting yourself out there. Easiest way to do this is to start publishing articles on LinkedIn and uh, you can even just start sharing articles with a little bit of your views on things. Don't just share because then you're just passing the article along without giving any expertise. So that's one thing you can do. And by the way, this means that you're going to want to have more connections rather than fewer because more people will then be reading your work. And uh, soon you'll start to get followers. Great to start with zero. That's where we all start. And so then when you start with zero, then you can only go up. It's fantastic. You can also start speaking. There are lots of conferences where they want experts. You can speak at local chamber of commerces or the equivalent. You could also get quoted by the press. Again, if you don't have a job right now, huge advantage because then you're not restricted by what your company's policies are on what you can say and who you can say it to. The second thing to do is to leverage your connections. And that means having a lot of conversations. And when you're having those conversations, do two things. One is you wanna convey the value you bring, the results you've achieved, and, um, and, and how you've helped the people you've helped and, and what kinds of people you wanna help. Then the other thing is you wanna ask and receive. So what you wanna ask for is who else should I be talking to? Always wanna be expanding your network of connections because that's how you find the truly great opportunities that you are uniquely qualified to do. Then the third thing is to create a role for yourself while you're looking. What I mean by that is you go and find a project, maybe it's for your prior em employer, maybe it's for a former client that's not obviously in conflict with your former employer and any legal agreements that you signed, or maybe it's uh, some new kind of organization, a nonprofit, but find yourself a project to do that's related to your field where you can continue to build expertise. You could consult. There are some firms, uh, this one called GLG, which is a consulting firm, not the hedge fund, and they hire or they collect a group of people who are demonstrated experts and connect them with people who need that expertise. And I think you even get paid while you're doing that. Isn't that great? And there might be other consulting firms th that have this kind of model where you don't have to go and be an employee, but they put together SWAT teams to help solve problems. Then you could also be a mentor in the new sector that you want to get into. So let's say you're in consumer products, which is uh, where you might be now, and you want to get into finance or fintech, well, then you can start just being a mentor to people in that new sector on the topic where you are an expert. In this case, you're a marketing person. And you could also just be an interim um, marketing director for a smaller company, maybe, or maybe it's a bigger company. And there's some company, there's some recruiters who really look to hire interim, interim directors and interim people. So, Finally, I just want to say, recognize that from where you are now to that ideal role might require some interim steps. So don't be afraid to do that. Uh, but whatever you do, keep going. I'm rooting for you. And I hope this helps. I can't wait to hear what you decide to do and how it turns out.